it's here. Stick around if you want to see it. glad you could join me in the wolf den for one of those, you know, hateful, oh god, hateful knife videos. And I know I haven't done a video in quite a while. My last one was about the chain banging on the bottom of the St. John's River to attract fish with sound. Got a lot of comments on that one since it was so wacky. But not a whole lot's going on on the fishing front. And that's probably because of, you know, the swamp, the swamp creatures got everybody freaking out. But what I'm doing here is, I mean, I'm a horse trader. I'm a horse trader. I enjoy the, the hunt, the thrill, and the, the, the buy and the sell. So what I got here is I did show you in a prior video. I showed you my collections here of my buck, what I, they're, they're 560s, right? Yeah, buck, buck 560, titanium. I showed you these, and if not, I'll leave a uh, link in the video description below. But uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm like addicted to metal. I wonder why. If you don't know why, because you haven't been here before, you should subscribe. Check out my actual channel and you'll see why I'm addicted to metal. I got 26 foot of metal sitting out there in front of my shop. I love aluminum. I love this titanium. And you know what I like too? I like traditionalism when it comes to knives. And I like light kind of lightweight. I've learned over time that I like lightweight. Lightweight is the the new deal. I got all these. I got all these. They're very lightweight. Okay. Here's, I think, the black one. Oh, no. Very collectible. Okay. There's the black titanium. I'm talking about. You want to talk about walk and talk? God, these things got some walk and some talk. Okay, I mean Snapola. Oh yeah, that's what I like. So I got all these titanium Buck Five Sixties. So when you want light, but then as far as like collectability, you know I love these titanium ones down here because they're so light. And then I'm on eBay looking around. And <clears throat> I didn't even know this existed. I didn't even know this existed. But look at this beautiful sheath. Tooled leather. 510 it says. But the listing said 511 or something. Let me grab my reading glasses. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's all beautiful tooled leather. You know, kind of reminiscent of the Old West here. It's got this nice silver button. Quality all the way. That's the reason why, I mean, look at these. These are just a nylon sheets, but you know why I love these? Is because they're flat and they're, lightweight so let's take a look at this this is what this video is about it's about metal and the beauty of metal not g10 not this synthetic material or something that was just g10 i here i mean g10 g10 it's kind of like fiberglass it's just another way of saying plastic, right? What is, what the hell is G10? I mean, I've looked it up in a, it says, you know, what G10 is, but it's basically all synthetic. There you go. 
Woo-hoo! I'm like a barracuda. I'm attracted to shiny things. Check that buck out. Look at that. Engraved aluminum. And it's got walk and talk too. Look at, oh my God, listen to that. Okay, it says on there 510. Buck 510. Look at that. Look at that. Kind of small. I'd say it says sort of, what, maybe the size of the uh, 505 or something, maybe? The 505. It's, I think the blade's a little smaller than the 112. Maybe it's the 112 that it's about the same size as, or the 505. Somewhere in there. It has this big space where you can, you can engrave your name. As soon as you do that, <laughs> goes that value. It's like a Biden wet fart. I mean, you might find somebody doesn't care, but it, if you ever want to think about resale value, same thing on this side, if you want to think about resale value, but I just wanted to share you, share with you this. All right. I mean, that is sweeter than homemade wine right there. Look how thick it is. I mean, those aluminum scales are on there are very thick. See, it's traditional with some flair, with some customizing, with some bling. Like I said, you know, barracudas are attracted to shiny things. And I must be a barracuda because, man, I saw this. And I immediately, immediately said, I got to have this. Got to have it. And uh, let's check for sharpness. Let's do that. When I saw this, and then I saw this, and how they match. Let's see if they kind of do match. You got swirlies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Swirlies and flowers or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's check for sharpness. I got some paper here. All right, let's see. Is it? It feels like a factory edge. This feels like factory to me. Could use probably a little um, red top uh, ultra fine on the um, Spyderco Sharp Maker. Oh, it's sticky. You know a knife sharp when it's sticky to your fingerprint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Got to get it straight, right? Yeah, I think you could use a little refinement. It was supposedly used... So, I just wanted to share this with you. I haven't done a video in a week, and I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, you can tell Dave's a bling guy. I like the bling. I like the orange here on, on this one. I mean, there's a size comparison for you. Cold Steel Steve Austin. Broken Skull. And this one. All right. Uh, let's see here. Here's another com size comparison. This is a three-inch holdout by Cold Steel. Okay, it's a little bit bigger than that. But it's still thin. Very thin. This is a little thinner. Let's compare it to one of the... Titanium 560s. Oh, man, 
See, it's built on the same sort of platform. All right. Same sort of platform. It's the buck platform is what it is. It is the platform for building knives, lock backs, or even mid locks. Even mid locks wouldn't be around today if it wasn't for buck and a 110 with that back lock. I don't find anything wrong with a back lock. I'm not a flipper guy. I'm not one of these, you know, uh, spidey fling it guys. I'm not that. I like traditional, even this one. This one, it's got a traditional clip point, everything. The reason I get it, I carry this, is it's thin, it's light, and it's got some wicked, wicked steel. This is probably the 420. Let's see what it actually says on the tag. It just says... Buck 510 USA with the symbol like this towards the 510. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but I'll look up that date. That's the Buck 510. I can't even imagine back in this, the day when this came out, what even this cost. All I can tell you is I have to, I had to sell a that big holdout with the six inch blade. I had to sell that to get this. Well, I'm gonna give you an end shot of my buck collection. This is the gray brushed 560 brushed, all black, crystalline, see that kind of mo uh, mottled appearance? That's the one that they call crystalline versus this brushed, say. Then I got another brushed, I only have one crystalline, and then another black, and another brushed. So, there you go. And I keep being reminded that I am not a knife channel. I don't know. I might have to start one. So thanks for watching and I'll see ya. I don't know. Hopefully before next week. Mm -hmm.